y'all, this is Peggy with the Easy Binding Winder and I just wanted to give you a real quick demo on how the Easy Binding Winder actually works and how it can help you manage your binding. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start with your binding strips. Um, I've already got mine put together, I've sewn them together, trimmed them, I've got my seam pressed open so it'll be nice and flat on my quilt when I put it on there. And we're just going to start pressing. This is for the single fold binding that I think most quilters use. So you just start pressing, you press and you press and you get about, I don't know, a foot, foot and a half maybe done. And then you're ready to put it on the binding wind. So we've got our binding ready to start. We're going to slip it under the tension rod right here, pull it up and then slip it under this clip. You just need a little bit under there. When you start winding, it may fold in on itself just a little bit, but it really doesn't hurt anything because when you put your binding on the quilt, that's going to be cut off anyway. So you just start winding, get it started. So you just press your binding, do a little section at a time and then wind. I like to hold it right here just to kind of keep a little bit of tension on it. And keep pressing your binding. The Easy Binding Winder is set up so that it's large enough to hold a king size binding on it. This is a much smaller binding because we're gonna do this quickie little quilt over here. So I'm just about done with this binding. Keep winding it till you get to the end. I do it in sections because I like to make sure that it's all nice and neat. And I'm kind of a fanatic about having my binding wound up real neatly in a nice neat little spool or a nice neat little package. So I'm at the end of my binding. I just wind it up here until it's all the way done. Now, I'm going to unscrew this clamp here, pull out my handle, and if I were going to store the binding, this just lifts right out. You can store your binding just like this on the spool. Extra spools will come with the Easy Binding Winder and we'll have more available for sale. But you can just store it right here on the spool or it slips right out from under that little clip and you have a nice neat little binding all wound up and ready to do whatever you want to do with it. So if you're like me, you wait till the last minute to do your binding. You make your binding, wind it up, you just keep it on the spool here. You can leave the handle in or take it out. It's your preference. It makes no difference. I just leave it on there and then I just take it over to my sewing table. So we've got the Easy Binding Winder over here on our sewing table. I'm just setting it right here for this application. You could set it anywhere that's comfortable for you. You could set it behind your machine and feed the binding over the top or under here, although I don't think that would work. Set it here. I've used it while it's sitting on the floor when I was binding a really big quilt. You could set it on a chair over here to the side of you or another table. Whatever works best for you. The other thing I like to do is pull this out. It's kind of like toilet paper. You know, you're either an over or an under person. So pull that out. I just slip it back. It, drop it back in there so it's coming off the top because it just works better for me that way. Now we're ready to apply our binding to the quilt. I usually start about 10 to 12 inches from the end. I think that's pretty standard for most quilters. Um, so I just take this, start in the middle of the bottom of my quilt. I don't mess with pins or clips or anything else. I just put it on there. So here we go. Start with the needle down. I always make sure that my needle is in the needle down position and just start sewing. The great thing about this is your binding feeds off of the Easy Binding Winder. You don't have it wrapped around your neck, thrown over your shoulder, bunched up to your side or in your lap or off the floor. It's 
just smooth as can be. So we just keep going. And you just keep putting your binding on until it runs off the end of the spool. And then you put your ends together like you normally would any quilt and you are done. So there you have it. That's the easy binding winder. That's how it works. We hope you like our little video. We hope you like the easy binding winder. And remember, don't get your bindings in a twist.